and welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you update your splits and lumps for birds. As a birder you probably know that there is taxonomic research going on in the world and that makes um, it necessary to keep up with name changes when two species are combined, they are lumped, or when they are split into separate species due to new research. And uh, we always uh, post here under news uh, when the IOC and Clemens lists are updated, so keep a check here. And uh, by the way, you can also, uh, under your account settings, choose if you are going with IOC or if you want to go with Clemens. And in this case, I will do IOC. So let's go back now and have a look at the tool. So you go to observations and you go to update splits and lumps and you click on birds. And uh, this may now take a while because it's loading all your observations that you need to deal with. Uh, so we'll do a fast forward here, but just uh, wait for your observations to come up. So here it comes, update your splits and lumps. And uh, I've mentioned about the account settings and I will also highlight here the question icon, question mark icon that is here. If you click on this one, you will have some guidance on how this works. So for example, uh, I will show you that under species further down here, you will see uh, the species that you need to deal with and you will see the observations. Uh, here are the number of observations I have that are, needs to be dealt with and here I have the options. And all this is mentioned very clearly here and the process is very simple and this is what I'll show you now. So I'll click away this one again, coming to that by clicking on the question mark here. So if I scroll down here, uh, I can, for example, take this dark eyed junco where I have a number of observations that I need to deal with. And uh, if I start off with, uh, for example, this one in Alaska in 93, I can uh, read here in the ranges uh, which one it could be. And here I can see uh, Alaska, that seems to be the one. So I tick this one and I just click on this one and you can see that it disappears. Uh, it may not always be uh, easy to understand which subspecies it is. So then you may want to just put it on the species level. You see the genus and species name here. Uh, so you can click on this one. Uh, in the case of, for example, I take the Arctic Warbler here that has recently been split into Arctic, the nominate, and Kamchatka and Japanese leaf warblers. And uh, here I have an observation uh, from Thailand uh, and I have uh, absolutely no clue whether it is any of these three species. So then I may want to tick here and then delete it. Uh, I can also go into edit my observations and uh, put it as Arctic Warbler, keep it as Arctic Warbler and put as don't count because I cannot be 100% certain it was an Arctic Warbler so I don't want to count it on the list. So a few different options here. But uh, in case uh, such as the, the Junko here for example, uh, the New York observation here, that is very likely here, northeastern United States is most likely this subspecies. So that's where I click and it disappears. So if you reload the page, uh, all these uh, that you have managed will disappear and you will be fine until the next uh, IOC or Clemens release and then you go into this tool and manage it. So uh, good luck and don't forget to click on the question mark here to get some guidance. Thank you for watching.